Hi again. In this video, we're going to be talking about interpersonal skills, and in particular, rights and responsibilities. So the definition of a right is that it is something that everybody is entitled to, or how you should be treated. The definition of a responsibility are the action or actions that allows everybody to have the rights, or how you should treat others. So we're going to go through a few scenarios, and what I want you to do is to write down um, the answers to the questions that follow each scenario. So in scenario A, Polly is 16 and has recently started a sexual relationship with William. William is a year older. She knows that he has had sex with a couple of girls in the past and would like him to get checked for STIs to make sure that everything is safe. So what is one right and one responsibility that Polly has in this relationship? What is one right and one responsibility that William has in this relationship? And number three, explain how the consideration of these rights and responsibilities will make sure that everyone is respected in this relationship. Next one, scenario B. Alice is 17. She is used to going out all the time and doing whatever she wants. She has just become exclusive with John and he wants to spend more time with her and communicate better. Exclusive is a bit of a strange term, um, assuming it means that they don't have any other partners. So, number one, what is one right and one responsibility that Alice has in this relationship? What is one right and one responsibility that John has in this relationship? And number three, explain how the consideration of these rights and responsibilities will make sure that everyone is respected in this relationship. And our final scenario, scenario C. Violet has just found out that she is six weeks pregnant. She has been casually seeing Simon, who is the baby daddy. She does not know if she wants to keep the baby. What is one right and one responsibility that Violet has in this relationship? What is one right and one responsibility that Simon has in this relationship? And explain how the consideration of these rights and responsibilities will make sure that everyone is respected in this relationship. So take your time. You might need to do some googling for some of these scenarios and you might need to put your hand up and ask your teacher. Feel free to ask your friends for their help as well, but stay on task and let's learn stuff. See you!